Pneumococcal conjugate vaccine is a pneumococcal vaccine used to protect infants and young children against disease caused by the bacteria Streptococcus pneumoniae. There are currently three PCV vaccines available on the global market, Prevnar, Synflorix and Prevnar 13. Prevnar is a heptavalent vaccine, meaning that it contains the cell membrane sugars of seven serotypes of pneumococcus, conjugated with diphtheria proteins. It was manufactured by Wyeth. In the United States, vaccination with Prevnar is recommended for all children younger than two years, and for unvaccinated children between 24 and 59 months old who are at high risk for pneumococcal infections. Synflorix is produced by GlaxoSmithKline. It is a decavalent vaccine, meaning that it contains 10 serotypes of pneumococcus which are conjugated to a carrier protein. Synflorix received a positive opinion from the European Medicines Agency for use in the European Union in January 2009 and GSK received European Commission authorization to market Synflorix in March 2009. Prevnar 13 is produced by Pfizer. It is a tridecavalent vaccine, meaning that it contains 13 serotypes of pneumococcus which are conjugated to a carrier protein. Prevnar 13 was approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration on February 24, 2010. After waiting for the outcome of a trial underway in the Netherlands, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommended the vaccine for adults over age 65 in August, 2014. Production Technique, Prevnar The original Prevnar was produced from the seven most prevalent strains of Streptococcus pneumoniae bacteria in the U.S. The bacterial capsule sugars, a characteristic of these pathogens, are linked to CRM197, a non-toxic recombinant variant of diphtheria toxin. The vaccine's polysaccharide sugars are grown separately in soy tone broths. Through reductive emination, the sugars are directly conjugated to the protein carrier CRM197 to form the glycoconjugate. CRM197 is grown in Corin bacterium diphtheriae strain C7 in a medium of cosamino acids and yeast extracts. 1. The original 7 valent formulation contains serotypes 4, 6B, 9B, 14, 18C, 19F, and 23F, and results in a 98% probability of protection against these strains, which caused 80% of the pneumococcal disease in infants in the U.S. In 2010, Pfizer introduced Prevnar 13 which contains six additional strains, which protect against the majority of the remaining pneumococcal infections. Synflorix, Synflorix contains antigen from 10 pneumococcal serotypes, the seven that are contained in Prevnar, plus serotypes 1, 5, and 7F. Eight of the 10 serotypes are linked to a protein carrier derived from non-typeable homophilus influenzae strains. Schedule of vaccination, as with all immunizations, whether it is available or required, and under what circumstances, varies according to the decisions made by local public health agencies. Children under the age of two years fail to mount an adequate response to the 23-valent adult vaccine, and so the 7-valent pneumococcal conjugated vaccine is used. Whilst this covers only 7 strains out of more than 90 strains, these seven strains cause 80% to 90% of cases of severe pneumococcal disease, and it is considered to be nearly 100% effective against these strains. United Kingdom, the UK childhood vaccination schedule consists of a primary course of two doses at two and four months of age with a final third dose aged 13 months. Children at special risk require as full protection as can be achieved using the seven-valent congregated vaccine with the more extensive 23-valent vaccine given after the second year of life, United States, in 2001, the Centers for Disease Control, upon advice from its Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, recommended the vaccine be administered to every infant and young child in the U.S. The resulting demand outstripped production, creating shortages not resolved until 2004. All children, according to current U.S. vaccination schedules, should receive four doses, at two months, four months, six months, and again between one year and fifteen months of age. Efficacy Prevnar 7 is designed to stop seven of about 90 pneumococcal serotypes which have the potential to cause invasive pneumococcal disease. 
In 2010, a 13-valent vaccine was introduced. Each year, IPD kills approximately 1 million children worldwide. 2. Since approval, Prevnar's efficacy in preventing IPD has been documented by a number of epidemiologic studies. There is evidence that other people in the same household as a vaccinee also become relatively protected. In fact, there is evidence that routine childhood vaccination reduces the burden of pneumococcal disease in adults and especially high-risk adults, such as those living with HIV-AIDS. The vaccine is, however, primarily developed for the U.S. and European epidemiological situation, and therefore it has only a limited coverage of serotypes causing serious pneumococcal infections in most developing countries. Evidence supporting addition to routine vaccination schedules After introduction of the pneumococcal conjugate vaccine in 2000, several studies described a decrease in invasive pneumococcal disease in the United States. One year after its introduction, a group of investigators found a 69% drop in the rate of invasive disease in those aged less than two years of age. By 2004, all-cause pneumonia admission rates had declined by 39% and rates of hospitalizations for pneumococcal meningitis decreased by 66% in children younger than two. Interestingly, rates of invasive pneumococcal disease among adults has also declined since the introduction of the vaccine. However, it is more difficult to specifically attribute this decline in adults to the childhood pneumococcal conjugate vaccine since the adult pneumococcal 23-valent polysaccharide vaccine is also available. While an overall decline in invasive pneumococcal disease is well documented, concerns have been raised regarding a potential increase in the rate of infections caused by serotypes not covered in the vaccine. Recent data suggest that serotype replacement is increasing but remains minimal when compared to the significant reduction observed in the burden of this vaccine-preventable disease. Clinical study, Prevnar was administered to nearly 20,000 children prior to licensure, and the side effects were evaluated. Rashes at the site of injection were noted in about 1% of children. Vaccination in low-income countries Pneumococcal disease is the leading vaccine-preventable killer of young children worldwide, according to the World Health Organization. It killed more than 500,000 children younger than five years of age in 2008 alone. Approximately 90% of these deaths occur in the developing world. Historically 15 a euro 20 years pass before a new vaccine reaches one quarter of the population of the developing world. Pneumococcal Vaccines Accelerated Development and Introduction Plan was a GAVI Alliance-funded project to accelerate the introduction of pneumococcal vaccinations into low-income countries through partnerships between countries, donors, academia, international organizations and industry. GAVI continues this work and as of March 2013, 25 GAVI-eligible and supported countries have introduced the pneumococcal conjugate vaccine. Further. Fifteen additional GAVI countries have plans to introduce the vaccine into their national immunization program and 23 additional countries have approved GAVI support to introduce the vaccine. Sales, Prevnar was among YF's top revenue producers, with sales in 2005 of $1.5 billion, up 43% from 2004. See also, Streptococcus pneumoniae, pneumonia, pneumoadip. Pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine, references. External links, World Health Organization, pneumococcal vaccines, pneumococcal conjugate vaccine at DMOZ.